prophesy. I have a first time visitors. Would you stand up? Up. Oh, we have a first time visitor. Two. Okay, what is Three. your name? Anne. Anne. And I hear the Lord say that um, there have been some things in the past that you've been bold to enter into, but there have been some things you've been reluctant about also. And the Lord says that he's going to break the reluctance out of you and that he's going, to, he's going to permeate you with boldness. And the Lord says he has some new things for you, some things that are going to surprise you. And the Lord says he's going to give you the boldness to walk out and try new things and enter into new things that the Lord is bringing your way. The Lord says, for there's a shift that's taking place in the earth now and there's a shifting that's taking place in your life and the Lord says he's going to open some doors before you and the Lord says you're going to walk through those doors without fear because you're going to recognize the anointing and the Lord says daughter you've been faithful in the past and I've been pleased with you but the Lord says I am taking you to another level and the Lord says, for the past, well done, good and faithful servant. But the Lord says, the things ahead are things that your heart has dreamed about in secret. And the Lord says, those things are for you. Amen. Amen. And your name? Elaine? Elaine, I hear the Lord saying that there have been some disappointments in the past there's some things that you haven't understood and the Lord is saying that's okay let them go the Lord says because what he's got for you in the future is going to eclipse all those things that have happened to the past and he's going to take those things in the past and he's going to turn them around and use them for good and the Lord says let your heart hope again let yourself open up to life again. Let yourself open up to the spirit again. And the Lord says, don't let the opinions of man influence you. The Lord says, I have put truth in your heart. I have put an anointing in your heart. The Lord says, your spirit will bear witness with my spirit. And the Lord says, when I move, you move. And the Lord says, that's all you need to know is the witness of the Spirit. And the Lord says, follow the peace. Amen. Amen. And the Lord says that there's not only the peace that's going to guide you into all truth, but it says there's going to be joy in the journey. And that is an indication that you're on the right path and you're going with your heart and not your head. Sure. Yeah. Gentlemen over here. Okay, let's see. Fred. Fred, Fred. and your wife, Mary. Mary, you can stand too. Well, she was here before. You have to sit down. No, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Fred and Mary, I hear the Lord say that you have, uh, you have been in agreement together, that you've worked as a unit, you've worked as one, your heart's been one, but the Lord says he is in going to increase that in your lives as never before because the Lord says he has some new things ahead of you, and the power of unity is extremely important the Lord says the enemy can't break through unity but the spirit is there says God so God says stay in that one accord and I'm going to increase it and even even bring in some other areas in your life and the Lord says that he's going to have you walking together as one even in some new arenas says God so the Lord says cherish that oneness cherish it and the Lord says don't let the enemy bring division into your lives. Mm -hmm. Also, there are dormant giftings, and you've operated them in times past that you thought that that season is over. But God says, I'm going to bring that back into the present tense and also cultivate it even in the future with even a greater anointing. So pay attention to the things that are old, that have seen to, to have lined follow, fallow. But God says, now it's time to break up the fallow ground, that I'm going to begin to rain down righteousness. So sow again some of the things that you've seen in the former that you know uh, you're comfortable with in the anointing. Those things need to be uh, stirred up, stir up, incite to action. Uh, they uh, use the word activate, and actually that's a good word because it means to incite to action, to stir up. Uh, and when the Spirit of God stirs you up and activates these things, you're going to see a proficiency that far exceeded anything you saw in times past because you, God's brought you along with the character over the years that has gone with it, that He can trust you more completely with more power, more anointing, and more, more uh, fruit in the days ahead. Thank you. And your name? Well, because you're honest, we're going to prophesy to you. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, I hear the Lord say, daughter, I'm going to take you into some new things that are going to stretch you. And the Lord says, it's going to make you uncomfortable, but it's going to be my stretching. And the Lord says that intercession in your life is going to increase and some new aspects, some new manifestations of intercession that the Lord says you're going to even question at times, is that God, is that God? But again, it will be the anointing that will bear witness in your life. And the Lord says, fear not to seek out the guidance of, of other leaders in some of these things that I'm taking you in, because the Lord says, I'm bringing increase, 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 increase into your life. And you're going to see the answers to your prayers even unfold before you. The Lord says, I'm going to give you confirmation in, in numerous different realms in the lives of people around you, the Lord says, but the Lord says also that he wants you to begin to prophesy into the heavens what you're seeing, to prophesy the things that are on his heart to come to pass, and the Lord says that he is going to bring the confirmation of that even in headlines in the newspapers. So the Lord says, daughter, stand and boldly decree the will of God in the earth. Amen. 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 